gotta teach me that hey. one. Hey. Hey. Alright, hey. next. Hey. I always dance on cooties. You are watching Cooking with Love. Keep it locked. All right, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Cooking With Love. And this week, the lady that I have here, I know she can cook. I see her all the time on the gram. She's doing her thing. This lady has been all over the place. I don't know how she keep up. Listen, Nancy's in the building. Nancy Jones, Mama Jones, you can call her by so many different names. She just stay busy. It's a pleasure having her in the building, but we're going to find out if she can cook. Right here, Cooking With Love. Do you think Nancy can cook? Soon come back, we're gonna find out. Cooking with love, crazy! Nancy's in the building. You think you really know Mama Jones? Uh-uh. This is how I get down. Welcome to Mama Jones. Well, I am the host. Sex is involved. And I'm um, her sidekick, <laughs> Freddie Rouse. Got a little bit of everything for y'all. Welcome to Sass Pool. I'm gonna get into Sass Pool with my girl Mama D. Hum, 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 hum. And I'm gonna teach you how to do the Jones way. Do the Jones way. Two, two step. I'm gonna show you how to actually keep it man. All right, guys, you see, like I tell you, see, Nancy's been super busy. But I'm not gonna make no weight anymore. Nancy! Ah, okay. oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Chef Nancy's in the building. <laughs> and That's only he could go with Nancy. Anyone in your, out there, anyone yeah. my age, yeah. you got a bad day. It's yeah. mama to you, auntie, mama. whatever. Mm -mm. That's it. That's what but I'm anyway, talking Nancy's about. Nancy's in the building. Nancy's in the building. <laughs> mama Jones is in the building. Yes. And guys, listen, me and this lady go back so many years. Yes. And it's a pleasure to know that after what, like 15 years or so? Well, that's about yeah. right. On yeah, that. when you did your event at Mingles. Yes. At Mingles. And listen, it was a pleasure working with this lady. And all the time I've been watching her, she's been just busy and staying on the grind. I don't know how you do it. Oh, you keep up. How the grandkids. Yeah, you know, grandkids. Because they keep having grandkids and that's <laughs> running behind them and it gets keep me get younger and younger, yeah. you know. That's how I feel. You know, you're that's, as old as you feel. That's what I'm talking about. And away from that, she got so much going on. Every time you look, she's doing something new and she just keep re-energizing herself and coming up with new ideas and venture off into so many things. Business woman yeah. and also I'm into fashion. On my show, on my show called Chase Harlem. Chase Harlem, that's mm. what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I heard that you like to cook in the kitchen. Yes, uh, I'm the fat yeah. lady in the skinny body. <laughs> yeah, the fat lady in the skinny body. Yes, yes. Guys, you ever hear that before? That's her <laughs> right here. But you like to cook. What do you like to cook when you're home? Uh, I I be cooking so much different things, yeah. especially for the kids. Them, um, you know. Uh, my my main thing I like I usually like saute shrimps. Okay. Uh, I love my steak and I love my lamb. That's what I'm So, uh, but I cook everything else. You I still it. curry gold. You yeah. know, all all anything. You, know, you see, so. guys. No, by the time it's no Thanksgiving. By the time you're watching this, it's probably way past Thanksgiving. What you have planned for Thanksgiving? I know Ooh, you do a big Shibana cooking. Yes, I, I already got the, the turkey, the ham, the nice. roast, the lasagna, the string beans, the collard greens, the uh, cabbage, the corn, the peas and rice. Yes. The, the, it, it's so much mashed potatoes. Everything is so much, much going, going on. on. But, you know, that's how we, and everything is done from scratch. The pies, yes. the, the cakes. Well, but my daughter does the cakes, so she's, oh. but she took over that part for me. Thank nice. you very much, Alexis. <laughs> you know, and you know, and she also to help me out with the pies. I, I mainly try to do stick with the sweet potato pies. With the sweet potato but before pie. I was doing all the other pies, but now she took over. Right? She, she's a great, she's yeah. a great cook. She's, she's a great cook. Yes, We're gonna have to have her here when cooking with love. Yes. We're gonna have to have her here. She's, but yes. one of the beauty, one of the thing about Thanksgiving is the come together where family come together. Yes. It's a time to give thanks. It's yes. a time to, to hang give. out with family that you haven't seen in a while. Yes. They're doing so many things. Yes. And that's one of the things. Also with you, you're so much into your family. Yes, That's one of the things that I know that is very precious to you. Yes. Your family, your grandkids, your son, and just relatives and anyone, and you give back to the community. Yes, That's one of the great yes, things. You're always motivated and inspire other youths and teenagers within the community. As to where do you, where do you think that is so much important in their health, giving back and motivate and inspire them to keep them out of trouble? 
My kids? Y your kids and just kids from within the, within the neighborhood. Well, I know I with, with my kids, kids, and I do take other people's kids along with me. I um, I, I do so much. Yeah. I always keep them by my side. I keep them active, I, and I'm always taking along with me. Yes. And, and I'd be doing so much. He, he said, this lady, we this lady, what, what is wrong with her? But <laughs> I enjoy creating, and I love creating where I can actually bring people along with me, and yes. we just make it happen. And you know, it's good for the kids because you know, as I get to you know find out and do things that's more better and, and, and encourage me and make me get high, I bring the young ones so they get it at the young age. They get a young age yes. and they can pass it. And I'm I'm giving I'm giving God forbid I ain't going nowhere, but I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna sit down in a minute. So. <laughs> Guys, but before you sit down, we're gonna cook something. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for us to reveal what we're gonna cook? Yeah. Anything that's on the hair, that's what you're going to tell me now what we're going to do with this and how we're going to cook it. Okay. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. You sure? Guys, oh, you think God. she's ready? Oh, boy. <laughs> One. Give me a drum roll. Two. Okay. Hold up. All right. Wow. Okay. Well. You got this. Ah, but if I had my son, you know who would have gone, my son would have been gone. I, uh, well, whew. Okay, so. This one you're going to have to help me. You know. But you don't even know where to start. I, I don't. I, I, I know we're going to have to hit his head or something. we got to do something to knock him out so he don't move no more. <laughs> that's for sure. Guys, that's it. Mama Jones is having a moment right now. Yes. Don't, <laughs> don't go nowhere. A real. We'll soon a come real back. Moment. Yeah. A real moment. He's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we'll soon come back. Cooking with love. Crazy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what to do with my kids. But we always been one big happy family. And he became this rapper. And I'm so happy. And I'm very proud of my son. My relationship with my mom's growing up has some ups and downs. But it's not like it used to be when I was coming up. He's a little bit closer. He's been like my little man through my whole life. I've become more of a man. And she's become less of my girlfriend. But she's still my mom's. No matter what I do, because I'm always doing some kind of creation, you know, he, he gets tickled out of it, you know. I need to come down and give me a little break down there in Miami, trust huh? me. The perfume, the men cologne, the vodka. He says, you know, mommy, 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 you need to slow down. Keeps going in and out. I can hear you, can you hear me? Love you, mommy. I'll speak to you later. He's been a very good inspiration for me, and he always have my back. You are watching Cooking with Love. Keep it locked. All right, guys, now we're back. I wonder if Mama Jones gonna forgive me. You think she gonna, did you forgive me? I don't know about that one. That one <laughs> that, that one had my whole head. I forgot all the ingredients. I, I forgot how to cook. I, I have to get back to this, you know. So you didn't even know where to start with that? What? What? Oh, my, my head left me. I thought my week was gonna run off. <laughs> guys, oh, listen. Yeah, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something simple and something that I know you like to cook. Shrimp. Yes. And we're gonna do a jerk barbecue shrimp yeah all right and we're just gonna make it simple i'm gonna serve it with some veg some saute veg mm -hmm. so we're gonna work together as a team right here i'm gonna give you your shrimp and you're gonna start putting all your ingredients on it start marinating and then we're gonna just put it in the pot and let it start sauteing all right so while we're doing this we're gonna have a little bit of conversation all right so here you go okay. and let's start cooking okay. so i know you've been super busy doing a lot of stuff yeah and you motivate and inspire and talk to kids and so forth i know your son has also been busy yeah yeah he got a yes. lot going he, on he has a lot on his plate too and yes. he, he gets that from his mother he you know he tried to tell me to slow down i be telling him i can't i, I something's gonna happen yeah but I you can know. definitely see where he gets it from just the same and almost everyone within your family Yes. They're workaholic just like yourself and it's a go-getter. It's a go-getter <laughs> spirit. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yes, you yes, never yes. want to give up and you never no. want to stop. No. You know, no. and inspiring and motivate people to listen, to let them know like, listen, you got to push on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and I, I you, saw... Did you, yeah. oh, sorry, you put this one in? Yes, put some of this in. And you know, you got to give it the same yeah. love that you give when you're cooking at home. What is one of your secret when you're doing your turkey? I actually, uh, I like to bake this stuff, but I like to 
make the season in butter, melted butter, and I have an injector and I inject it into the into the, the turkey and nice. when it when it when it finish and it come when it's finished and it comes out, it's so juicy and it seasons all into it. But I actually let it marinate yeah. for like a whole day. Like oh. going into the next day, that's when I actually do it. So Wow, wow, yeah. that is good. Yeah. I know you were on also on Marriage Boot Camp. That was so <laughs> funny. Yeah, that was so yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> you want yeah. yeah, well, that was yeah. great. I love that. I love the whole yes. season. I love the Chrissy, your husband. I, I, I mean, your son. Well, he thinks he's yeah. my husband. He thinks he's yeah. he think he my husband. He thinks he's my father. He thinks he's everything. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? At the same time, you guys have a great relationship. And a lot yes. of time, yes. even nowadays, you don't see mother and son with such a great relationship between you and we him. Do. We do. And also his wife. I see the chemistry is there. Yeah. Yes, you kind of butt heads sometime yeah, and all like that. Yeah, but you know what? It, it it's goes, all love. Everything is not perfect. You know what no. I'm saying? I mean, it can get a little better more, but it's okay. I'm, I'm yes. not mad about it, you know. So yeah. it, it is what it is. That's who he love. I got to yeah. love. Yeah, him. yeah. And that, yeah, and that's also cool. Yeah. Love okay. and hip hop is also bad. VH1. <laughs> <laughs> You're in there? Is there? Well, honestly, um, I was not supposed to be actually going in from the beginning, but I don't know what's going to go on. I mean, people yeah. have been acting and wanting me to come in and all this kind of stuff and everything. Here go one. Yeah. And uh, I want to do it, but I have to do it only like I spoke to Mona that yeah. I take the back part of her show. Okay. I, I don't want to be on the show per se. I'd rather interview them on my show for on Cheers show. to Harlem. Oh. What have y'all been doing the yeah. last couple of years since you haven't been on? You know, yes, on I've, seen a, I've, I've seen a few clip of that on your social media. Tell us a little bit about that Cheers to Harlem because that, that also have a great ring to it. Because Harlem, you're, you're from Harlem. Yes. Yeah, you're from Harlem because I remember when I came to your school, um, you still operate in the school? No, mm -hmm. what happened that now, now I've I've been actually trying to create my own and sometimes what it does it takes a lot. Okay. I'm starting from ground up. I actually not baking, asking nobody to do yeah. nothing. I just actually the type of person I like to start from ground up because this way I appreciate it yeah, when yeah. it's done and finished. Because you know so. what is so funny you said that because and it you touch on something very important when you say not begging and asking for anything because yeah. Getting God, support. God it to me. Yeah. Support is good. Support is good. Right. But it's not that easy sometimes to get no. support from the people that you think that, would support a that's good why I say purpose. That's begging, you know, because then now you got to go to them and you're asking them and you're then it turns into, can you, can you please yeah. help me? Can you? No. It's so when much. they see me actually doing what I'm doing, for some reason, somehow God just grant them to come along and, and come and give me a helping hand. Yeah, most so, definitely. So, you know. Especially and when you see that I'm actually doing this on my own. Oh, on your own, yeah. And you're doing it for, for, for a good purpose. Too. Yes. You're giving back to the community and yes. helping out some of the kids. Yes. And give them somewhere to come in and out, take yourself out of trouble. Yes. You know, yes. that's and one I'm, of the great I'm things. I want them to know I'm looking for all up and coming people that's, you know, with cameras and uh, production. Yeah. I'm willing to give you a try. I ain't got the money right yes, now. Yes, yes. But you know what? That's yeah. why they call interns. Yeah, it's why nice. I help you all out or help me out and before you know it, we all in the money. We all in the money. Yes. Guys, while we're here cooking, go and check out some more of Mama Jones on Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> uh, no, tell them they should. Which one they should, should, they should go check out? Y'all should go to Cheers to Harlem. Cheers to Harlem. Dating advice, career advice, you know, I wasn't even a mother, they were asking about advice about children, raising children. And I was like, I want there to be, I know, I wanted there to be like one stop shop where women can go and it's everything that girls love to talk about, everything that girls love to know. But women Jonathan has been one of my friends for over 10 years now, and he's like the best makeup artist you can think of in New York. He's done everyone from Missy Elliott, K. Michelle, Little Kim. Hip hop first mom, you know my name. <laughs> Mama Jones, I did my thing. Hip hop first mom, you know my name.
me that hey. one. Hey. 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 All right, next up hey. to I Always Dance on Cooties. You are watching Cooking with Love. Keep it locked. And you see that? Cheers to Harlem. Mama Jones has been super busy, but right now she's there, I cook. So you know, I'm always twisting stuff up. That's one thing I like when I cook. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Corona into this. Ah! Just to give it a little, a little bit of turn up. And, 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 and you know, this is what I love to eat when drink with my, um, um, my, my seafood look at that. and stuff like that. Look at that. So now you huh. gotta worry about drinking it. It's already Look good. at that. Look at that. Look at that. They don't know nothing about that. Uh, uh, perfect. I, I bet you I'm gonna know somebody now when I go home. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do some sharp barbecue sauce over mm. him. Make him look real good. You smell that? You mm. smell that, Mama mm. Jones? Mm. You smell that? Uh. Mm. Suck it, suck it up. Yes. Yeah, I ain't even gotta do that. It's A little bit of sweet peas oh. and carrot. You're gonna hurt somebody. That's right. Jesus. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Cooking with love. So right here, guys, as you see, Mama Jones shrimp is coming along. We're gonna go with some fresh garlic and make that look love, so good. I love the garlic too. I uh, love the garlic too. You can tell me nothing about the garlic. A little bit of butter, not too much. And I'm gonna start on working on the veg right over here. Okay. Yeah. But away from that, I know you have a lot of stuff going on. You're also into business and you also have a clothesline. You still doing the clothesline? Because well, I haven't well, seen... Well, what happened, I, I slowed down a little bit, but now that I'm actually doing this show, yeah. I'm revamping everything. I'm revamping the um, punkash. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm revamping the men cologne, which is Papa Touche. I'm revamping the, the shirt. I'm a psychotic uh, oh. You know, and also, too, I'm revamping the psychotic vodka. It came out for a little while. Okay. You know, people who get greedy mess things up for themselves and mess things up for me. But there's a God, so I own that name and I'm going to go do it one more time again. Nice. So it's a lot of things that I created. I, I did a book, which is, you know, love the Mama Jones Love to Guide and Romance. Yes. You know, so things that I actually did, yes. I'm just going to revamp it now since I'm doing and I have it Repackage it book. again yeah, and well, put it back out there Hello, again. and it comes back better and new and improved. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I know, as a matter of fact, as you just said that a while ago, when it comes down to relationship, what are one of the things that you think that is missing right now in relationship and sustaining it and keeping a happy home? Is it honesty? Is it being yes. straight up? Yes. Um, just put all the cards on the table from the jump. Yes, and, and, and it calls no cheating in between, you know, I, yes. I feel we have to cheat, I mean, you might as well just say, honey, let, you know, let's depart. Let's call it a day. Yeah, you know, let's don't, don't do that, because that doesn't keep it like that, but usually when you keep the honest going on, you know, the communicating going yes. on, it, it makes a big difference, yeah. you, especially when you communicate, you know, don't get lost in that, when, no, when there's no communication, yes. It kind of messes up everything. Yeah, whatever is going on, you just feel like you need to talk about it. Yes. No matter yes. how uncomfortable you yes. think it's going to make the other person is. Yes. If you don't talk about it, it just start building up, it and then one up. start having one thing start having. It could be anything. And like the boss kicked you at the job. Yeah, I don't know how to even talk about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying don't keep it to yourself because you you know you can't do nothing because that's the man who pay your check. You know, maybe your wife might tell you kick them back, boo, and then we find another job. And then we you find know, another but, job. You know, but you know. I, I think communication is definitely yeah and i think also with, with 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 guys on a whole as myself we also need to communicate also to our lady at home and when yeah. something is going on a lot of time we don't want to feel weak within ourselves and opening up and saying honey i lost my job today or honey this yes. is what's going on at work and it's not making me feel real good but at the same time the lady also have to be there as support to give that yes. support in saying, we're gonna be all right. Yes. Yes. You know, don't just beat him down and knock him down. Be his shoulder to lean on and yes. say, we're gonna be all right. We're gonna figure this it out. It works too well, especially if you're mad. You know, that's, yeah. that's definitely. But um, I, I like that, you know, don't beat him up. Don't, you know, just be there for him, support him, encourage him, you know. I, I was in a predicament like that. My husband's job had folded, closed yeah. down and everything. And it was kind of rough and hard. But you know what? I was there. I was that back room, that supportive person to him and everything, and holding on yards. He never had to worry about me turning my back on him and saying, "Oh, you ain't got no job, honey. Let's yeah, get yeah. a divorce. I'm done." You know, yeah. no. no. I was there for him. Yeah, most definitely. And you know what, guys? Most of you, you, 
you have to communicate. And no matter what's going on, communicate with your special person and let them know and just keep the love. And you see, there's another topic we can touch on how to spice up the love life. Mm -hmm. So when we come back, Mama Drone is gonna give you a little bit of tip and then we're gonna go right into plate and presentation. Keep it locked. Shrimp look good. Yes, it Mama Drone's a big chef. Soon come back. <laughs> Stop. House. <laughs> he don't care. House. <laughs> well, Gemma, how do you think um, Chrissy feel about me being here? But Stop rubbing your back on the rug. I'm she talking to you and you playing with the dog. She's ecstatic. I mean, she's ecstatic, but I think that she, she just thinks... She doesn't want you to leave. Yeah, right. Oh, you, you're, trying to to start some, you're trying to start some trouble yeah. with me and Chrissy. I'm here as long as I figure that y'all need me. I, I mean, you know, it's always good to have my mom's around, but I didn't know that. I didn't get the memo that we needed you. I'm just inquiring, right, House? You sound like you're trying to get rid of me. No. I figured I'd come out here and, you know, sit down and rap with y'all, see how, what more I can do to help out as a mother. Not only just for you, but huh, since you're doing what you're doing. But you, you need to sit down and talk to her about that because she kind of expects me to. Uh... All right, guys, so now we're back. And you see this? Look how pretty yeah. that looks, Chef. Chef. Yes. Yeah, do your thing in the morning. You can't imagine the flavor that's bursting and, out of oh, that right oh now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll be able to tell you in just a moment. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. So we were talking about spicing up the relationship. What are some of the tips you can give for the guys and also for the females as to stuff that they can do? I remember you said one. I remember once I was hearing you say, you said what? I'm, I'm looking at you naked and you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, very, it's very funny. It's, 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 I, I, I have a very wild imagination. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anybody else can do it, but I know to keep most of my relationship, and even though I may not have one now, but yeah. when I do be in a relationship, I keep it spice up. Nice. And it's spicing up, I always do role play. Like, I like to build beaches in my house. Oh. Real sand, nice. pool. You know, I get the seaweed, fake seaweed. The, the, you know the seashells yes, yes. or either I do a picnic area nice. you know so I, I I like to do different crazy stuff or I might make my 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 whole living room into a beautiful a restaurant you know oh so these I, these are new ideas yes because yeah, I've never seen a make my living room I bring the sun in and turn it into a beach and all of that yes. Yeah. And you be able to keep your man for a good couple of years, like at least 20, 25 years, you know what yeah. I'm saying? After that. She's going to keep her man like that. I'm going to keep the lady like that. Yes. Let's get this straight. Yes. <laughs> yes. But with the man, it's even beautiful too because, you know, if you start out with giving flowers, I don't know. I know some women maybe don't like it, but I like flowers, you yes. know. I like candy every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I like to cuddle up, watch a movie, just me and him alone, or, or go to the movies, go to dinner. You know, if you start that, don't stop it. Because yeah. I'd be looking forward for that. I like to go for rides. Yeah. Rides is like Mama Joan says thing. she like to cuddle up. That's right. So we're cuddle up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, this is what we do right here. We're cooking with love. And yes, overall, are. with what's going on right now in society, this is something that we need to do. We need to come yes. together as one. Yes. We need to support each other. Yes. Be there and be each other's keeper in just looking out for each other. Yes. And cook with love and have great conversation. Yes. And the chef shrimp is ready, yes, my veg is ready, and we're going to ride in the plating and presentation Yay. right now. So chef, do your thing, okay. do your plating, I'm going to put my veg right here. Okay. Let me see, she's going to put the amount that she wants, let me give her a little bit more of this. Yes. Looking real good, and oh not God. all the time you want the starch, so we're doing this real simple with just some veg, some saute spinach yes. and some saute Swiss chard, and that's, and that's broccoli good. and that's cauliflower. Good. That's really good, nice though. and healthy. You can't go wrong with that. Uh. Okay, chef, put more shrimps on there. How much more shrimp do you want? I don't know. Uh. I tell you, the fat lady is skinny right. So <laughs> guys, this is looking. Oh, this this is looking cute. so good right now, oh guys. Look at that. No, chef, where do you put the lemon now as finish garnish? Give me a perfect spot where you would put down the lemon for presentation. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Chef Mama Jones, 
Chef Patrick. Yes. We're in the building, and we'll cook something, and when we come back, we're going to go right into tasting and presentation. Oh. Keep it locked. Yes. Don't go nowhere. It's going right. to be lit. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be lit, guys. We'll soon come back. That's right. Cooking with love. Crazy. Okay. okay. Nice. Well, the chef left the building. Fortunately, the wrong thing for him to do, because I'm about to eat this. Very nice and lovely. You ready to taste it? I'll let you all know. Sorry, I, I wish y'all could come and taste it with me, but I'm gonna let y'all know exactly how it is. And trust me, if it looks delicious, I know it's delicious because I had hands in this. Uh. <laughs> Fat lady in a skinny body, once again, did it. With the help of the chef. Mm. Well, I want you to know, this jerk shrimp is delicious. You have to try it. Even I know he helped me, trust me, I'm gonna run home today and I'm gonna finish doing the same thing he did. Mm -hmm.